So just another quick video about the stem separation and the pre-computed stem separation in the latest version of Virtual TDA 2021, which is built 6067 right now. So of course you probably already know about the stem separation that separates the track so you can take away or isolate parts like the vocals or the beat. So if I, for instance, load the track here, a regular track, you can see it loads instantly. And then because it's a pretty slow computer, it spends some time doing the stem separation, which is what you can see visually here. So now it's ready with the stem separation. Of course, that cannot be pre-computed. And uh, if one of the, in one of the latest versions, that got a, its own icon. So you can see now that these little things with the blue dots on it here, that has pre-computed stems. So if I load one of those tracks instead, you can see that the stem separation is really fast. And that's because it's been pre-computed. So if I right click, you can see I now have a pre-computed stem sub, uh, option. But what actually happens is that it separates the stems and stores it separately, so you can load them fast. So if I click on one of the ones here that already have pre-computed stems, then I choose File Operations and open and explore. And then you can see that what it has is it has two new files, one for each of the uh, separated stem tracks here. So um, this track has separated stems, and this track has separated stems, pre-computed. So it has these little uh, new files called VDJ stems as extension. And you can see they're actually pretty big because they have the separated audio inside of them. So uh, that's, of course, nice. And you can see, them, uh, see that on the icons, but you can only see that in the current folder. So what if you want to find all of them? Well, uh, you could then, of course, out here in the, in the file folder, um, uh, to a search for VDJ stems extension, but that's probably not what we want to do because that's outside of virtual DJ. So what has happened is that uh, we have a new action uh, inside uh, inside the, uh, the virtual DJ script language, which I can use in a filter folder. So if I add a new filter folder here, we can just call it pre-computed stems like this maybe. Oops. And then we, of course, need to see why we want it to look. So we'll just have it look everywhere on the database. And the script for this pre-computed stems. That's just the action. We need to actually ask it something. Because if that's zero, then there'll be no pre-computed stems. But we want the ones that have pre-computed stems. So we'll say that to bigger than zero. And now instantly, it gets populated. And we can see now we have the two ones that we knew about. And we had two other ones that it has found that has pre-computed stems already done. And we just placed in other folders around the database. So you can see if we load one of those, the stem separation is also really fast. Of course, because it already has the pre-computed stems. So that's a little new feature where you can look for your pre-computed stems in case you just only want to load the ones that already have the stem separation, so you're not doing that on the fly while teaching.